Hey guys, got that saw. She's all cleaned up now. Spent a couple hours today cleaning it up. It actually cleaned up quite nice. Pretty pleased with that. Even even got the most of the rust off the muffler. <laughs> uh, top cover cleaned up nice it's a little faded but it's clean but uh we're gonna take this carburetor off this thing and see what it looks like so hopefully we can get it running we uh check compression on it and uh it's got some compression uh i did notice a, a couple little minor issues with it but we're going to try to address those here as we get it apart. See what we're dealing with. Uh, there's one screw. Overall, though, I think this thing's in pretty good shape for what it is. As hard as these things are to find, I'm not going to complain about it. Remember you got your flashlight? Yep. Well, that's a problem. What's that? The intake gasket is slid down in front of the port. That's probably something to do with it. Yeah. slid down when I did that because it wasn't glued on it wasn't stuck on that might be when it did it look at see if it's that good imprinted the under looks pretty good it may have just done it when I took that off I seen something in there, I didn't know what it was. I wanted to look to make sure. Alrighty. Get that throttle linkage off of there. Alrighty. See what the metering side looks like here. Some of you might be unfamiliar with these saws, but they run a two-piece ignition system. This right here, this blue box, I don't know the actual technical term for it, but we call it an igniter. And it's where your plug wire comes off of. You've got wires running down through here up to where your normal coil would be because there is an actual coil down in here, your pickup coil. These saws, these saws and uh, 281, well, 181, 281, 288 XPs, they all, they all kind of share the same ignition system. It's a two-piece ignition system. And ignition parts for these are getting more difficult to find, and the ones you do find are pretty expensive. Usually, I see sets of these on eBay for at least $100. Sometimes, you can find them used on there and get lucky cheaper because I've done that for a 288 that I had one time actually my very first 288 uh, yeah sometimes you get lucky but 
this one happens to have sparks, so we're in luck. It's actually got very good spark. It's purple. And it fires at low RPMs. Always, when you're checking your spark, guys, sometimes you can have issues with spark. You can have a weak, weak spark. And sometimes it'll fire at higher RPMs. But if you pull the saw over slowly, a lot of times you won't have no spark. If you got good low RPM spark, it goes all the way through to a fast pull, then you know you've got good strong spark. That diaphragm feels nice and soft on the metering side here. So got water in it from where we cleaned it. We'll have to get that out of there. Oh. all that out this is the metering side of the carburetor you always want to make sure that that diaphragm right there is fairly soft and moves because that acts like for those of you that are familiar with a float bowl carburetor that diaphragm acts like the float and needle in the in a float bowl carburetor it controls the amount of fuel that comes through I'm not going to worry about peeling that side. We're going to stick it back together and give it a shot. Well, I don't know. Let's see if we can get it. I may as well see if I can get it without breaking. I don't want to break it. Yeah, we'll try it. If I have to take it back apart, it ain't no big deal. It don't take long to take this carburetor apart. Bill Hopper's got the old spice man going over there. You might have been silent, so quit doing that. Screws are snug. All right, let's pop the the other side off here. And we're gonna have to have a bigger screwdriver for that side. We got a scrunch here. Okay, so this will fit down in there. Oh, that works. Okay. See what I'm doing here. There's a little bit of trash in there. I don't know if you can see this, but this hole right here is where fuel comes through through the needle. And you want to make sure that that screen right there in that hole is clean. Because if there's any dirt in there, it'll restrict fuel always blow through the inlet and make sure there's fuel coming in
It actually looks pretty fair. Diaphragm feels pretty soft. So, I believe. I believe that's a running carburetor. down now we gotta get the intake intake gaskets back in line which is gonna be fun Something's on there that everything lines up. Get on. Making sure it goes on the way it came off. It just broke right there. It was hard and brittle. still seal there. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get her back down on there. back up there where you belong. Got her 
her slid down there enough where she'll go on. There she goes, pulling and lining up now. I had to get the intake to drop down where it needed to be. Being a little bit of a pain. Normally I don't put them on that way, but this gasket here wasn't stuck to the cylinder like a lot of them usually do. So I do it that way to make sure that the gasket was on there and not falling down behind it. figure out the throttle linkage because somebody's got it bent up. That was one of the problems we were talking about earlier. Somebody's got it bent and, or the piece broke that's not allowing it to throttle just like it should so we're gonna have to straighten that stuff out. But for now, I'm gonna stick it back together and see if it'll run. We'll have to uh, locate a, uh, a cylinder plug because the decomp, the compression valve that was in it is Chinese and it's broke. So we're gonna try to locate one of those real quick and then uh, we'll be back and see if she'll, uh, she'll run. We'll bring you back. And we're back. All right, so we, uh, we did some bending on the throttle linkage and we got it to where it's uh it's throttling some now i don't know if it's fully wide open or not yet but it's more than what it was doing before so we're gonna go with it for now uh we got everything back together we got some gas in it now so uh we're gonna see what it does <sighs> I'm gonna try this for a sec and see what it does. We might try that here in a second. Hit the table here. It's fire.
pretty good it's gonna need some more fine tuning but hey for a saw that just came in a box yesterday that's been sitting for shoot who knows how long that's not bad <laughs> uh i'm pretty happy with that just got her just got her yesterday and uh or the other day and got her running today so can't complain but uh anyway we're getting close to 20 minutes with this now, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this get this up for you guys. Uh, I know some of you wanted to see a carburetor tear down. I know that one wasn't wasn't the best because that one wasn't real nasty or didn't really have much wrong with it. But uh, uh, anyway, we'll uh, we'll get more of that stuff out uh, as I get other things that need because I got plenty of things that's probably gonna need some some work so uh anyway uh we're gonna go ahead and cut this y'all uh y'all have a good one